It's been a while, uh, what like two months, uh, just haven't been uploading anything, it's fucking freezing so, and I'm on a holiday, uh, but yeah, today, welcome back to Modified Welding, uh, finally trying to finish off this floor, all of this side's done, that's welded up, that just needs to be ground back, the hole inside the boot's welded up, that's all done. Uh, this side's looking nice and smooth now. You can't even tell where the weld line is compared to where it was last time. Oh, that's where it was last time, all cut out around there. And underneath there, it's all done on this side. All of the new seal is welded on. Everything's all done nicely. Yeah, we're coming along. So all we've literally got to do today is try and weld that big hole in the floor there, finish off the welding of those two holes, and the floor for this is pretty much done. So yeah, we're just gonna crack on, bend some metal, weld some stuff, and see where we're at. So we got that hole fully welded up, that hole all fully welded up now. We're just working on this one. We decided to do it in two parts just because it's easier to try and not bend all the metal in one place, like that side was. But yeah, that side's getting welded up. Dave's just bent the bit in there for right over there. He's just gonna cut it now. But yeah, just grind that back, sand and fill. Grind that back, sand and fill. And then when we get to that one, grind it back, sand and fill. Let's uh, crack on with that. So we're just welding up this new panel in here. here sand that back filler primer done floor is done then engine in engine in gearbox in drive shafts in rolling so dave just grinding that all back now it's all the welds all flat so we can make it look like that that is where a hole was where the weld was i'll go back and reference the previous footage of where the hole was and what that's it welded up that just needs to be ground back it looks like now still wet with primer then you've got these two over here that one that was up over there and then that one which is there all there finish off the welding of those two holes all covered up all nice and sh well reasonably smooth you're never going to see it. it's going to be under carpet but that is the finish on that side as well it's dirty now but that is the finish we we're going for on that there so hopefully we can try and achieve something similar nothing like a bit of sanding and paint can't fix but yeah it's going pretty decent uh as i said we've done that side of the car now i did that I'm gonna scrap the idea for spraying it grey. I was gonna do grey with yellow accents, but I've scrapped that idea. I'm now gonna do black and red. So this anti-roll bar that I've painted yellow is gonna to have to go red. Oh. But the anti-roll bar's all done now. It'll pretty much be fixed up as and when. Obviously these tie rods need to be done up, but the hubs are all on. And it does in fact, if I turn the steering rack, it does in fact move the whole assembly, so I know that's all good. Just need to obviously have the shocks on and all the ABS sensors all done. Had to grind and re-thread and re-tap all of the holes for that. Still need to grind off the back there. But that's all done. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. All the hubs are on. Spinning, free moving, all the engine mounts are ready to go on. That just bay needs to be painted. <laughs> After the base painted and all, we can start putting ABS stuff back on. We can start doing brake lines and then we can start rebuilding the bad boy engine. Get that done. And it's all coming together. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. It's getting a bit dark now. Obviously, December nights getting cold and dark. So, yeah, I think we're going to be done. 
for today and uh she see you in the next one hopefully it'll be next week and following obviously we've had a couple of months off but yeah see you in the next one adios